Welcome to Cecil Dalston YouTube channel. This video is about computation of depreciation under straight line method using MS Excel. Under this method, the amount of depreciation is found first followed by the rate of depreciation. The formula used to find out the amount of depreciation per year is original cost of the asset minus estimated scrap value whole divided by estimated useful life of the asset in years. The formula to find out rate of depreciation is amount of depreciation divided by original cost multiplied by 100. In this method, a fixed percentage on the original cost of the asset is charged every year by way of depreciation. Hence, it is called original cost method. Amount of depreciation remains equal in all years over the useful life of an asset. Hence, it is called fixed installment method. When the amount of depreciation charged over the life of the asset is plotted on a graph and the points are joined together, the graph will show a horizontal straight line. Hence, it is called straight line method. Let us take the purchase price of an asset as rupees 190000 incidental expenses as rupees 10000 and therefore the original cost is the summation of these two rupees 2 lakhs let us take the scrap value as rupees 25000 and the number of years as 5 so we can find out now what is the amount of depreciation per annum? It is nothing but original cost minus scrap value, this cell. So let me close the numerator by parenthesis. Divided by number of years is this estimated useful life. So the amount of depreciation per year is rupees 35,000. So this can be found out using the SLN function in financial functions of MS Excel. So, MS Excel has an inbuilt function called SLN function under financial function. Using that, we can find out the amount of depreciation per annum under straight line method. I will do it here. Insert function, this one fx insert function, then go for financial. Okay, here you know we must choose financial. In financial, SLN. So let me choose SLN. It asks for cost first. So let me choose the original cost from here. Enter. Salvage value, nothing but the scrap value. Choose this and enter. And life of the asset is the number of years. Choose this and enter. Now we have got the answer, it is 35,000. Give OK, you will get rupees 35,000 as the amount of depreciation per year. OK, we shall move on to determining the rate of depreciation. So it is amount of depreciation divided by original cost multiplied by 100. So I choose this amount of depreciation divided by original cost is this multiplied by 100. So it is 17.50 percent okay so if this 17.50 percent fixed percentage is applied on this original cost namely 2 lakhs we get depreciation as rupees 35000 every year okay since this fixed percentage is applied on this original cost of rupees 2 lakhs to determine the amount of depreciation it is called original cost method since the amount of depreciation remains the same over the useful life of the asset, it is called the fixed installment method of depreciation. Okay, I have taken the years from 1 to 5 and the amount of depreciation. Let me take it from here, the amount of depreciation. Okay, same thing for everything. So, I will put... Uh,
I will put B dollar eight, then copy paste. Control C, Control V. I will get the same amount. So what I put here, D dollar eight, so that that uh, you know cell will remain the same when I copy. Right. The value of the same cell I am going to copy in rest of the cells. Therefore I put D dollar eight. Okay. I have got the amount of depreciation. Now let us uh, draw a line chart. Insert. Okay, here is line chart. Click this. Okay, we will choose this first, the data, then go for insert, then line chart. Just click this. We get the chart. We shall keep it here, the chart. Now, when the amount of depreciation is plotted on a graph and the you know the points are joined together it gives a straight horizontal line that is why it is called straight line method of depreciation so in this video we discussed what is straight line method of depreciation how to compute it manually and how to compute it using the sln function of ms excel so in the next video we shall discuss how to compute depreciation under written down value method using MS Excel. For further discussion, comment or email to cecildolston at gmail.com. Thank you.